Really? What's up guys? My name's Gabe if you didn't know that already. This week I got a whole bunch of unhealthy food in front of me because we are doing a DIY video. So I can almost guarantee that all you guys have seen at least one Instagram photo of food that looks amazing. If you haven't, then you haven't lived. But here's some examples. Boom. 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 And guys, to be honest, that's only four of like a million photos of just food that looks amazing. Gabe, you don't even know how to cook. How can you make something like this, 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 or this? Okay guys, yes, I get it, I don't know how to cook, but I'm really good at finding lazy ways to do things, so here's one of them. Before I get into this video, please click the thumbs up button, it'd really help a lot, and I might actually do a part two to this if you guys enjoy. So I've chosen four different types of desserts that I think you guys might be interested in doing, so let's get into it. So the first dessert that we're gonna be creating only consists of four ingredients, pretty simple stuff we're gonna start off with. The first thing we have right here is some pretzel rods. I don't know about you guys, but for me, pretzel rods were my childhood, I used to have them all all my lunch boxes every day in elementary school. Next thing we have right here is Nutella. I don't really like Nutella, honestly, so I got the smallest jar. You guys can get bigger jars. There was one that was like this size, and then there was one that's like a massive size. For me, I'm gonna stick with the smaller size. The next thing that we have right here is some Funfetti. Usually you read it first, you should go and get the white icing one. I just realized this is orange. If the stars in the Funfetti are not good enough for you, all you need to do is go and grab a bottle of sprinkles and you're good to go. All I have is this super sharp knife right now, so we're gonna be really gentle with it. I recommend using Make sure it's all clean. I'm gonna grab five of these because that's how much is in the original photo and we're just gonna be unoriginal at this moment and just copy it. I'm gonna open up the Funfetti and dip them in. This legit looks like Play-Doh. So you kind of just like whirl it around a little bit, twist it, and it should just stick. Guys, I'm not gonna use the Fanetti stars for most of them. I'm just gonna use the basic sprinkles. The best way to not get these sprinkles all over the countertop is to put the pretzel rod over the Funfetti and have the sprinkles just gently go across like that. Obviously, it's gonna go into the Funfetti, but that's okay because ultimately that's what I'm doing right now. Now that we've coated the first one pretty well, all we have to do is stick it in about the same amount that we did with the icing on the other side, and yeah, boom! That's the final product right there. Now I know a lot of you guys are like, Gabe, in this photo right here, there's this giant glob in the middle of it. I have the answer to that for you guys. haagen vanilla ice cream. What you need to do is you just need to open it right here, peel off the label, just grab one clump, drop it in between all of the pretzel rods. But let's try out one of these pretzel rods mixed with Nutella. That's actually really not that bad. So guys, the second thing we're gonna be making has less ingredients than the first. This is the original picture right here. It is an Oreo pretzel with icing. This is a perfect snack if you're coming home from a long day at school or because it's summertime, just hanging out with friends. You make this with them, slumber party night, boom. All you need is giant pretzels, Oreos, the regular kind, no double stuff, no Oreo cake, none of those kind, and of course, the Funfetti orange icing. All right, really? All you guys need from the... All you guys need from this is one Oreo right here, so I'm gonna put that right there. The Oreo needs to be mashed up. Gabe, are you gonna use your hands for this? I'm gonna be using this. Now, I know a lot of you guys are wondering what this thing is. I don't know what it is either. I found it in the grocery store. It literally was not marked. It's a dollar. I think it's called a smasher. If you have an oven pan like this, it'd be great to use as a placemat to just put the food onto rather than the dirty countertop. Take the pretzel now, dip it in the Funfetti and just pretty much go at it. To keep it from really sticking through the holes, you gotta use your hands to kind of push it through. Next thing you're gonna do is simply just put it on top of the Oreo pieces because the little sticky parts of the icing are gonna pick up all the Oreo bits. So as you guys can see, we did a decent job on this one. Not as good as the first Nutella one, but as always, I'm gonna try and let you guys know if it tastes good. Once again, guys, a solid dessert. So guys, the third dessert I'm gonna be teaching you how to make is Reese's Pieces Bites. Here's the original photo. As you guys can see, all you need is Reese's Pieces little bits like this and cookie dough. I definitely recommend you guys get the cookie dough in this kind of form rather than on a sheet with different little bits because it's a lot easier to make into a ball. So guys, for me, I'm not gonna cook the dough at all. I definitely recommend you guys do it. It's a lot healthier and a lot tastier. Now I'm just pretty much gonna use my hands to create a ball. Here are two. I'm gonna put this one down for a minute. Like I said, guys, it's gonna taste a lot better if you cook it, but for me, I don't really have the time and I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. I'm gonna try, it's not gonna taste really good because it's completely raw, but it still tastes pretty good. The final one I'm gonna be doing is a cookie dough ice cream sandwich. 
Obviously, I did not get the right ingredients for this one at all. This is the original photo. It's supposed to be square cookies. All you guys need for this is two different ingredients. I did not get the right kinds of Chips Ahoy, but I definitely recommend Chewy Chips Ahoy. These are Oreo cream filled ones. They're not the best option. Like I said, just get the original one. Next thing I recommend, guys, is the vanilla ice cream that I was using earlier. It's a perfect filling for it. You don't really need too much of it. This is obviously a smaller version of what the photo is. Now, guys, you really only need one scoop of ice cream as long as you have the right size spoon. You kind of just have to make sure you stick it right in the middle like that, and you're good to go. As you guys can probably already tell by all the leaking from the ice cream, this is the most poorly made one out of all of them. I recommend to do the other ones before doing this one. There are better ways to do this one. It's not worth it at all. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. Please make sure to slap the thumbs up button. Comment some more DIY videos if you want me to do another one of these. All my social media is down below, including my Snapchat, which is right there. Whenever I have a lot of fails in the making of one of these videos, they usually end up going on my Snapchat, so make sure to add it. I asked some of you guys back as well. Peace out. Boom. I'm not too hard. You got me.